Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the new Path of Exile currency coming out in the new league, Scourge, which introduces the Sacred Orb. So here's what it does. It randomizes the numeric values of base defenses on an armor. It's different than quality and I'll kind of explain that really quick here. So um, someone comments over here and says, does this reroll the new 0 to 20% number? It's actually 0 to 10 except for energy shields, which are 0 to 20. This was posted in the uh, manifesto, which was going over the uh, part two of core character defenses and recovery. So what it comes down to is they mentioned that they are gonna be changing the base types of items, generating a number from zero to 10% higher base defense as an inbuilt, currently non-modifiable -modif property, even though now it's technically modifiable. It's almost like in Diablo where you'd have like the superior, which is an interesting idea, but basically energy shield values can go anywhere from zero to 20%. So depending on what the base of the item is, you can have a random roll on it and then on top of that, modify it with the new form of currency called the Sacred Orb. Now, um, going over some feedback, some people are, uh, were kind of excited about it. Some people are saying, no, this is a terrible idea. You can see like the, one of the most upvoted uh, comments over here by Ziz is saying no. And then some people are like, well, why would you complain about this? Um, it's just another blessed or like, it's just another form of making our character even stronger. It does add another layer of, you know, complexity to the game and technically kind of confusion for some people because they'll be like, well, well, the quality isn't that that's something that's generated with like armor or scrap, right? Because when you upgrade the armor, um, technically it upgrades the armor of the base item, if it has it, or evasion or energy shield or whatever the like base of the item has, right? But before what a lot of people thought of when they actually heard this announcement that these would just roll with a random zero to 10, this would add another layer of potential items that could be worth money, right? If you look at Diablo 2, we have like the superior, there's like the cracked versions of armors, which no one really wants for the most part, but like there are bases of items that people want that have like the perfect role that you can trade or sell to uh, other people and uh, you'll be able to get another form of currency from the base of an item. So like a, and this is like a mage plate, which is great for crafting certain uh, uh, rune words as a base for let's say a caster or something like that. So this would be another form of an item that normally people wouldn't really want, but because it rolls like the perfect amount, it could be worth something. So other people are kind of disappointed that like they don't have that chase of, I want the perfect enhanced defense or the perfect role in this case of Path of Exile on that item because it was previously mentioned that it was non-modifiable, but now you can just modify it with the new form of currency. So I'm curious to know how you guys feel about that. Do you really care that much? But I started thinking about it and like for me, like at first glance, I'm like, oh, well, it's just another way for us to make our characters even stronger, right? We have basically, since it rolls zero to 10% or zero to 20, uh, depending on the item, it's a one in 20 or one in 10 chance, kind of like almost like a blessed orb, if you will, that we have to be able to modify the item. But then it adds more bloat to the game, right? It's one, it's kind of confusing because I make new player guides and telling people there's two different qualities on the item. There's like the armor quality on it. And there's also the other form of armor quality. That's just the quality of the item. At the end of the day, it just helps us make our character stronger, but is it really that big of a deal? For some builds, getting extra defense can matter because you can scale like extra damage with the amount of armor that you have on a character. So there's other ways to scale it to give you damage or other forms of defenses other than just the flat, like armor evasion rating or like whatever is rolling on the item, right? Um, but at the end of the day, if you think about it, with any new league mechanic, when we see currency as a reward, usually people get excited, right? Oh, the reward type is currency. Would you get that excited about a sacred orb dropping, you know, super late in the game? Maybe not as much as other items. And it just, again, adds another layer of confusion and just, uh, people are essentially saying that it's more bloat to the game in the loot pool and like I could definitely see that, but I also see that, yeah, it's just another upgrade for our character. So I'm kind of 50-50 on it. like. Is my character that I'm building, well, I don't even know what I'm playing next league, but uh, is it really gonna make a huge difference to get like zero to 10% more like, you know, of the armor stats, right? On the quality of the armor, even though it's, I don't mean quality via armor scrap, I mean the new form of quality. It's just confusing, again, for a newer player that doesn't fully read everything. And I think that's the biggest thing that uh, I wanna like mention here. So maybe just change the name instead of calling it quality because uh, yeah, it just, I don't know what they're calling it, higher base defense. Because 
again, that was something that was done with armor scrap anyways. Uh, so there's another new change that I do want to mention, but let me know your thoughts on that. So they are actually going to be changing uh, the Atlas in 3.16, but in 3.17, it's going to change everything that's in standard as well. So this uh, next thing will be happening in the Scourge League, but basically this is what they're doing. And I think this is a overall positive change for most people. Um, so they're going to straight up removing some areas, Terran's End, Lex Proxima, Lex Idros, and New Vastir. They're just removing the entire regions. So what happens to your magic and unique watchstones? Because you're, you're just straight up getting all those watchstones just deleted. Do you get anything in return for your unique or region specific ones? Yes. So basically they get converted over to like a different one, which makes sense because they're changing up the way that Atlas works. Basically they're going to be uh, shaving down the size of the amount of maps that exist in the game. So you can actually complete your map much faster, which I think is a great change because Every single time, because I create uh, content for, uh, you know, newer player guides, and I show them the map, like, at the very end of the game, I'm like, okay, we completed the game, this is the maps, and they're just like, whoa, there's, like, over a hundred of these, like, I thought I just completed the game. And I think that's going to be a nicer change overall. And they also mentioned that uh, your Maven Witness like favorite maps will also be reset. So that's going to be uh, nice, obviously, because some of the maps won't exist anymore. So I'm curious to see how this like plays out. But what it looks like is it's going to be an easier way for us to complete the Atlas overall. I would say most people are pretty excited about this. I am personally because it just lets the progression at the end game be a lot faster, especially for some of the builds that may be a little bit slower in that department. Uh, but Again, uh, I'm curious to know how you guys feel about these new orbs um, with this uh, newest change uh, of just changing the numerical values, even though they said that you weren't going to be able to change it. I, I guess I, I get why people are upset, but let me know your thoughts down below. I already told you mine. This change, uh, it's like half and half, but I think overall I would lean more on the positive side because it just is going to make most people's characters stronger, but it just adds more like blow to the game, 100%. Uh, and then the newest change with the maps, uh, I like it because it's less maps to do, completing Atlas is faster. Uh, anyways, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new here and want to be up to date on Path of Exile as well as Diablo and uh, other gaming stuff, because I do like to play other games from time to time, if this is your first time here. Hit subscribe, turn the bell if you'd like to see more of my content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.